appreciate them with a mighty clap offering our God is really alive and him will forever praise one more time let's put our hands together for the mass chorale I discovered that some of you uh, in as much as you couldn't sing the hymns uh, you were sitting down but uh, Reverend Anastasia Renchi did something powerful she couldn't sing but she came to the altar and that is worship unto the Lord amen <laughs> so let's do same uh, give our worship to God enjoy the music let's be a part of it amen and amen we want to salute uh, Reverend Dr. Christy Dotete is in the house mama <laughs> we also want to acknowledge the presence of the Usu family they are behind us God richly bless you Amen as we live here on earth whatever we do the word declares that will follow us our works will follow us Mr. J.K. Osu and Mrs. Teresa Osu have lived and been a blessing. If you don't know any blessing, just see Mama Rita and it's enough for you to appreciate the Lord. If you clap, you'll go to heaven. And so, the group that they belong to, Senior Citizens Ministry, uh, together, will be coming forward, being led by Honorable Rita Odole Sowa, MP4 Ladade Kotopon. Let's put our hands together as Rita Odole comes forward. She'll give a testimonial about Mr. and Mrs. Ousu. Can we do better for? We may do that on behalf of the senior citizens. A better clap, a better clap, a better clap, a better clap, a better clap. Hallelujah. I salute our papa and our mama. We are here today to celebrate the lives of Mr. and Mrs. Owusu through praise and worship and we are here from the aged ministry where they belong and I'm a patron of that ministry John 11 25 to 26 says Jesus said to her I am the resurrection and the life the one who believes in me will live even though they die and whoever lives by believing in me will never die do you believe this that is the word of God. We are here to testify about our parents, our grandparents, who lived a beautiful life as members of the aged ministry. This is a ministry they cherished so much and they loved so much and they were always part of the ministry. When you don't see them, which means they are out of the country and all members will attest to that fact. They showed so much love to their colleague aged members and anytime they travel and they come back, mama and dada have gifts for the members of the ministry and anytime there is a celebration, they contribute to make sure the celebration um, goes on very well. Members also attest to the fact that Anytime they travel and come back, their offerings and tithes are in pound sterling. And they are excited to do that. So you can see that they are givers. And our mama, Rita, and daddy are givers. And so they have led the women, the aged ministry, to also do that. I have also known them for the entire period that I have been in Royal House Chapel. They were a wonderful couple who prayed for the success of the ministry of Apostle General and their daughter, Mama Rita. They were at all programs and 
we can attest to that. They made sure they supported all the aged, and today the aged are here to celebrate them. They played a very significant role in the aged ministry and also supported their colleagues. When you ask the members, they'll tell you if they don't have anything and they ask mommy and daddy, they are ever ready to give to them. Though they are no longer with us in the physical, the word of God has already told us in John 11, 25 to 26, that though they died, they are still alive. And today we know that there are angels in heaven looking down upon us and sending us blessings. We believe they have joined the host of heavenly angels to keep watch over the Owusu and Damwa families as well as the church as a whole. Our hearts, our hearts is with you, Mama Rita and the entire family, in your time of sorrow, wishing you peace and strength during this difficult time. May the sorrow you feel in your heart lighten by the love that surrounds you. God bless you and may God lead us to a successful funeral. Thank you very much. The Ejad are going to minister to us. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And this is one of the favorite songs of Mama. Anytime it is testimony time, she will be the first to jump and then come and give her testimony. And then she will say that, I want to thank God for the life of Apostle General and Mama Rita and the entire family that they have traveled. God has taken them safely and bring them back home safely. And then she will go.
Uh, for them, that is the Mawena Choir, the choir of the senior citizens of Royal House Chapel. They deserve a better round of applause, please. Let's give it up to them. Coming up next is one of the minstrels that have been raised in house, Pastor Zita, and she will be ministering with the Royal Voices one of 14 choirs here at the headquarters please with excitement and exuberant praise let's welcome pastor zeta and the royal voices
with your soul it's well with your finances well with your marriage and well with everything about you put those hands together and give the Lord praise hallelujah if you just joined us this is the memorial and worship night in honor of Mr. JK and Mrs. Theresa Owusu we are celebrating two beautiful lives out of whom great women and men have been produced. Coming up next is yet another of our 14 choirs praising showers led by Japhet Ajete. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, please help me welcome Japhet Ajete and the praising showers. While they are coming up, may I take the opportunity to acknowledge the presence of the Archbishop Charles Ajeng Asari, the presiding Archbishop of the Perez Chapel International. He is here with his wife, Mama Vivian. May I also acknowledge the presence of the head of our North American missions and senior pastor of Grace to Grace, the Reverend Emmanuel Agomedatete, 
and his wife Mama Mina. Let's give it up for them. Also in the house, we have the senior pastor of our New York mission, Latter Rain Center, the Reverend Joseph Chu. Also in the service, all the way from the United Kingdom to come and celebrate this beautiful and great occasion is the head of our UK and Europe missions, the Reverend Daukit Amano and Mama Nandi, please let's acknowledge them. Jaffet and praising showers. Put your hands together for Jesus. God is good. God is good. And all the time. Hallelujah. Let's worship God together. With the songs. Crawl, crawl in.
Gentlemen, please help me welcome the commanding bishop, the commanding archbishop of Christian Action Faith Ministry, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, and his entourage. So many acknowledgements that will be coming up and um, as and when the opportunity comes up we will acknowledge each and every one of the gallant men and women of God the fathers of the charismatic movement in Ghana who have come to celebrate the life of Mr. JK and Mrs. Teresa Owusu the biological parents of the Premier Lady of Royal House Chapel, the Swaga Ma Marida. Amen. Please permit me to acknowledge the presence of Reverend Stanley Mensa, the Assistant General Overseer of Charismatic Evangelistic Ministry, and his wife, Mama Martha. Thank you so very much for coming. Also, fellowshipping with us tonight in this memorial service 
is Reverend Dr. Stephen Wingham, the General Superintendent of the Assemblies of God, together with his wife, Mama Monica. There are also a number of uh, sons of Apostle General and Mama Rita who flew all the way from the United States of America and Europe, United Kingdom and Europe, to also come and celebrate the life, the lives of our grandmother and grandfather. Um, from Woodbridge, Virginia, we have the senior pastor of our Virginia mission, Reverend Geoffrey Adotutu, please, let's acknowledge her. From New Jersey, we have Reverend Hazel Bediako, please, let's acknowledge her. We have from Massachusetts, Reverend James Sapon Kumankuma, and from North Carolina, Pastor Sarah Essien. The UK contingent um, also comprises of the senior pastor of our South London Mission, Reverend Alex David Saki. From our Milton Keynes Mission, we have the Reverend Victor Opare Ado and Reverend Mrs. Opare Ado. From Elephant and Castle, we have Reverend Mark and Mama Beatrice Aubrey Yabua. From Berkshire Mission, we have Reverend Joshua and Lawyer Akosia Ewuku Akufo. From Belgium, we have Reverend Ernest and Mama Beatrice Dubache. Shall we acknowledge them with another round of applause? Thank you so very much. As indicated, more acknowledgements will come our way. The Bible says in Malachi chapter 3 verse 16, then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. A book of remembrance was written. I believe that there is a book of remembrance that has been written in honor of Mr. J.K. and Mrs. Teresa Owusu. But here in this great and august assembly are some individuals who have fond memories of Dada and Mama as we affectionately called them. And this service will never be complete without hearing their voices. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Chief Deacon of Royal House Chapel, Senior Lady Deacon Angela Owusu. She will be followed by the Senior Pastor of the East London Mission, Reverend Mrs. Nandi Amano. Anytime uh, Dada and Mama were in London, they would always fellowship at East London and also Berkshire Mission. So Mama Nandi, if you can kindly come up stage and also lawyer Mrs. Um, Akufu, if you can also come up to say a few words, fond memories of Dada and Mama. God richly bless you. Hallelujah. What an honor. I salute the mama and papa of the house and all the generals and the bishops and the great fathers and mothers of the land. You are welcome. And thank you for coming to celebrate the life of Mr. and Mrs. J.K. who's with us. Um, I met Mr. and Mrs. J.K. Uzu, when I got married to Mama Rita's uncle, a younger brother of Mr. and Mrs. J.K. Uzu, I was actually in university at that time, in second year. So we stayed with my father and mother-in-law till we graduated, till I graduated in 78, and then in 79, we moved out. But my first recollections of Mr. and Mrs. J. Kowusu was 
any time there was any occasion in the house, the first thing my father-in-law would say, Acha Kujo Usu Abanami. Kujo Usu is Mama Rita's father. His name is actually Mr. Joseph. Kujo Usu Usu. So, I mean, that was the refrain. And the house was a busy house. My in-laws were many, many brothers and sisters. But nothing would happen till Kojo Usu came. If there was going to be an outdooring, Acha Kojo Usu Ahami. Kojo Usu has to be there. And of course, accompanied by his wife, before there would be an outdooring. I remember they would have a family party on the new on new year's day every year january 1st and of course if mr and mrs jk who hadn't come the food and everything would have been cooked but kojo usu had to be there first and that was my first recollection i mean they were a very good couple they they um very disciplined. Whenever anything was happening in the house, like outdoorings and so on, they would be the first couple to be there. Then I graduated and I went to do my national service with Aztec Industries, which happened to be my brother-in-law's factory. He was now starting a factory that would produce refresh, fruit juices. As some of the older ones will remember refresh. And so, Auntie Theresa had left Bank of Ghana. She came to work there. I went to work as a quality control officer in the lab because I did biochemistry food science. And Mr. Jacob Uzu was actually the one who supervised the construction of the factory. So that is where I became very close with Mrs. Theresa Usu in particular. And like a mother hen, because I was very young, I think she realized I was young, and so she just took me under her wings and protected me. So we became very close. We would chat, and anytime I had a challenge, I would talk to her. And then she would counsel me with the word of God. And then she would pray with me. I didn't know that the Catholics do that. But then she would actually hold both hands. Hold my hands. And she would pray with me. Angela, Angie, she calls me Angie. And then she would pray with me. And of course, once a problem shared is a problem halved. And not only would she pray with me, she would go behind my back. And if it was my husband or any in law, trust Auntie Theresa, you will go, you will get a very sharp end of her tongue. I mean, she she is like, she will tell you as it is. Eh? If if it's your sister, or she'll say, if you wouldn't be an and I will bang and sir. So I just loved her. And the friendship continued. Then, uh, occasionally, she would also ask me to pray with her, young as I was. Then, especially when maybe a certain interior was being rebellious, like Angie, or some abna was being very difficult, or when some brother Ankara wanted to come into the family, then me too, young Angie, we would hold hands, and we would pray. But the long and short of it is that Mr. and Mrs. J.K. Uzu gave godly counsel. I mean, when there was a problem in the family, and you know, it went through the stages, it would be taken to this person, it would be taken to the la that person. The last couple of results would be Mr. and Mrs. J.K. Uzu. So if they come, and they give their counsel and you don't take it, then it's like you're on your own. That's, I mean, that's the last stop. They were people who were forthright and they were honest. They would say it as it was. And they always had our backs. And I want to say to the glory of God that because I kept close to uh, Auntie Theresa, um, and I followed her counsel. I looked up to her as a role model. 
I stayed in my marriage till my husband passed. At the time he passed, we had been married for 38 years. And she and Mr. Jacobs were very compassionate. When they felt, I don't talk much, but they were very sensitive. Times when they felt things weren't going well, I wasn't happy, they would pay me unannounced visits. I'd be there and then they would come. And she told you, they don't feel no Yojuba, take me care. And then they would visit and they kept encouraging me and encouraging me. And well, all I'm praying is that um, Mrs. Jacobs will give me her boldness and her forthrightness. And Mr. Jacobs would also give, leave his compassion and his honesty with his brothers. I know they are now angels in heaven. So may they watch over us and keep us going. I would like to acknowledge our father, the Apostle General, and our mother, Mama Rita, the great fathers and mothers of the land who are gathered here, all the great men of God and women of God here tonight, and the family who are gathered here to mourn our mother and our father, and for some of us, our grandmother and our father, and our grandfather. Amen. When you look at the people who are gathered to mourn mommy and daddy, or grandpa and grandma, to be specific, you can tell the impact that they've made on the lives of many people. Mommy and daddy are dedicated members of our East London mission and Baksha mission so you hear from Baksha in a short while now when they come to London they will always travel from Hemel Hempstead for those of you who know London to East London and that's a long journey and when they are staying with their son uh, Minister Albert Minister Albert who is a church worker will leave home very early if you are not ready he will leave you at home but mommy and daddy are always ready by six o'clock or sometimes earlier than that to live with minister and travel all the way to East London. Now at their age, they don't need to do that because they have every excuse to say that they are old, they are tired, their bones are not good for the journey, but they will do the journey and come and worship with us. There are a testament of faithfulness, of resilience, and of people who love the Lord. They love the Lord and they love the body of Christ. And this is how they showed it. Not only are they faithful to the things of God, they are also faithful to the people. Mommy, one day I was there when minister brought me an envelope. When I opened the envelope, there were earrings of different sizes in the envelope. I said, Minister Albert, hey, why are you giving me earrings? He said, Mommy says I should bring it to you. Watch something. She has observed that I don't wear earrings. And instead of telling me, Mama Nandi, you need to wear earrings, she bought me different sizes of earrings. <laughs> Put your hands together for the Lord. May somebody see the need in your life and provide that need. But more importantly, may we learn from the lessons of these grandparents and honor the need in somebody's life. When you see a need in somebody's life, may we be like them and do likewise. Jesus says that the memory of what this woman has done in Mark 49, whenever the gospel is written, we will remember this. It will be a memorial. It will be told as a memorial. Our grandmother and our grandfather has done great work. The saints of them has gone beyond Ghana, has gone beyond Europe, has gone beyond America, has gone into the world. Today we are celebrating them, 
not only because of Mama Rita, not only because of Minister, not only because of AG, not only because of what we are hearing, but even beyond the shores of Ghana, wherever they find themselves, their scent, their sweet aroma goes ahead of them. To the Owusu family and the Dapa family, thank you for giving us wonderful grandparents who love us so much. Thank you for sharing her life with us. Thank you. And to mommy and your siblings and to all who are gathered here and to daddy, may we all continue to be that wonderful beacon to light the world so that one day when we lie here like this, people will testify of our goodness. She's done a great work. Her scent has gone out. May your scent go out. God bless you. I think you should listen. I honor our mother and our father, the most reverend Apostle General and Mama Rita Kranchankra. I salute all the fathers in the house. It's a great honor for me uh, to represent Baksham Mission tonight, to honor the memory of the pillars of our mission in Baksham. Um, just like Mama Nandi, uh, we had the proximity advantage of having one of her sons live near Heathrow. So whenever they came to stay with Uncle Pacho, it was our turn to be able to have Mama and Dada stay with us. And um, Mama Nandi has said everything that really they were and represented, and I wouldn't take too much of your time. Save to say that for me, whenever I remember them, I remember the song that Mama taught us. I haven't got the nicest of voice, but I know she would appreciate it. And um, it's never failed me yet, never failed me yet. Jesus' love has never failed me yet. There's one thing I know everywhere I go. Jesus' love has never failed me yet and that really was the beginning of that many songs that mama left with us at Bakshem and the reason why this song meant so much to us was because Bakshem mission it was really a growing ministry and it still is a growing ministry and mama would just sing this song to encourage myself and Reverend Josh and just says remember God never fails anybody and as you have begun this journey with the Lord, God is going to build his church. We are very confident. Dada, in particular, was very passionate about the church growing. And Mama took interest in all the foreigners that were in the house. And we know for sure that Baksha Mission is not going to fail because we now have two angels who are our intercessors in heaven. So to Mama Rita, we are in this together. And we know that the legacy of our mother and our father will live long in us. Thank you for the honor. Amen. I just want to remind you that club offering is worship and praise. I, I just want to remind you that club offering must come from your heart. I just want to remind you that God loves praise, shout, and noise. Give God an Oya Dome praise in this house. We are doing very well with our time. In about an hour's time, we should be getting out of this place because tomorrow uh, we have the barrier service. I also want to remind you that Dada and Mama are laid in state at the other compound of the Hinfie. And so those of you who have never gone to pay respects, uh, you can do so when the service is over uh, in the midst of brass band music right there at the front. Uh, you will be hearing the voices of the sons and then the papa of the land the praise because the word will do you good so I will be um, asking some of them to bring us one minute of goodwill 
and blessings to this house and the last that will speak will be the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams the father of the charismatic movement in Ghana let's celebrate the goodness of God in this place so we'll have uh, the next music and worship coming and uh, if you feel that you've been sitting for long make sure that you join them in the worship and then after that we shall hear uh, 50 minutes of exhortation and then the prophetic greetings will come from the father and then the sons that are in the house when archbishop is in the meeting all of us are sons Let's welcome the presence of Reverend Steve Mensah and his wife. I think we are left with two groups more to minister to us, isn't that? Pastor Jifa and Pillars of Praise. Let's welcome them with a mighty clap. And then after that, Pastor Pa and voices in worship i wanted to i want to announce that mog is in the house and he's the last voice we shall be hearing after the ministration of the word and then the prophetic so now pillars of praise one of the 14 choirs that is in the church here uh, at the oil dome uh, led by Pastor Jifa Onoma. Now, Mrs. Pastor Jifa, what is that? Mrs. What? Is she ministering with you tonight? Pastor Jifa? Uh, she's Mrs. What? I've forgotten that. M Mrs. Jifa. Ose Bonsu. Ose Bonsu. Oh, forgive me, Jifa. I called you Onuma for almost 30 years before there was a shift over your head ladies and gentlemen a mighty clap offering
bless your name, Jesus. You are worthy, O oh God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You alone deserve our worship.
was the mellifluous voice of Pastor Jifa and pillars of praise that we just heard. If your hands have not been plagued by COVID-19, please put those hands together for the Lord. And if your voice has not been arrested by any demonic power, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Coming up next is yet another of our 14 choirs, Voices in Worship, which is the youth choir, led by Pastor Pa Tremanting. Please, let's welcome Voices in Worship and Pastor Pa Tremanting. In case you are wondering why Royal House Chapel has so many choirs, is because on the 19th of June, God gave the man of God a directive that he should bring people into his presence through prayer, praise, and worship. And worship happens to be one of our hallmarks here at Royal House Chapel. While Voices in Worship and Pastor Pa are getting ready, please permit me to acknowledge a few more dignitaries. We have in the house Bishop Tete Ofer and wife from Pleasant Place International. Let's give it up for them. We also have Bishop S. N. Mensa from Full Gospel Church International together with his wife. Let's give it up for them. Then we have the Right Reverend Dr. Anyani Buedum of Jesus Generation International. Let's acknowledge his presence, please. From Assemblies of God Accra East, the superintendent, Reverend Andrew Erintra, Erintia. Let's acknowledge him, please. From Living Streams International, we have Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque. Let's acknowledge the presence of the man of God. From Grace International Christian Center, UK, we have one of the sons of the Apostle General, Reverend Dr. Samuel Bento. Please, let's acknowledge his presence. Another son of the Apostle General, Reverend Dr. Frank Owusu of the Lord's Vineyard, the Lord's Church, UK, is in the house. Please, let's acknowledge him. And the area heads of Royal House Chapel International Churches, I can see the Reverend Kofi Walanyo Abu, CEO of Pogas Furniture. Please, let's honor him. I can also see another area head, Reverend Felix Atiobe. Please, let's honor him. And all the area heads that have gathered to honor our grandpa and our grandma. God richly bless you.
us my shepherd brother friend my prophet is my king is my priest let your voice say that clap offering was for pastor pa and voices in worship now let's give the king of kings and the lord of lords a better and a befitting clap offering and a shout come on let's give it up to jesus let's give it up to jesus wow if this is how worship on earth can be then i imagine what the heavenly worship would be like that is the realm into which Papa and Mama have entered. And ladies and gentlemen, turn to somebody and tell the person, no matter what happens, don't miss heaven. A few more acknowledgements and then I will invite the last group to come and do something. Please help me recognize the presence of Reverend Clement Anchaba of the Fountain Gate 
ministries let's honor him thank you so very much sir for coming we also want to honor apostle amwakwata reverend ni aji ankra from botswana the younger brother of our papa the apostle general is also in the house it's not only men of God who are drawn and attracted to a service like this. Parliamentarians have also come to honor the memory of our dada and our mama. So please, let's acknowledge the presence of Honorable Irene Natoshi Adolate, the administrator of the Common Fund. We also want to acknowledge Apostle James Kofi Abre of the holistic counseling and training consult he is here with his wife reverend thomas brew from our connecticut mission is also in the house please let's acknowledge him i missed out earlier on on some of the area here it's reverend Emmanuel kim fully please let's acknowledge his presence Let's also acknowledge the presence of all the members of the Royal House Chapel Apostolic and Executive Council, the highest decision-making body of Royal House Chapel. They are in the house, please. Let's honor their presence. Let's honor them. Let's honor them. This one deserves a standing ovation. When the Lord asked him to leave the shores of Holland and come to Ghana. There were giants in the land. But he came. And within a few years, he made his mark. And today, you can never write the history of Ghanaian Pentecostal charismatism without mentioning the name of the most reverend Sam Crunchy Ankara. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a standing ovation and let's celebrate this man that God has used to affect our generation with the love and with the power of God. Because of him, senior citizens are no longer branded as witches and wizards. He has extended their lives by establishing a ministry that takes care of them. Because of him, young girls and boys who would otherwise have been at the discos are in church singing God's praises. Ladies and gentlemen, let's salute this general that God has blessed the nation Ghana with a voice not only in our land but also across the continents of this world I salute you Apostle General my father and the father of Royal Chapel International we are so proud of you please can you add a kiss to him blow daddy a kiss we love you and if loving you is wrong we will never be right because of you some of us have found our God-given destinies. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We honor you. We salute you and we appreciate you. Amen. It is our honor and privilege to now invite to give their tribute the grandchildren of Mr. J.K. and Mrs. Theresa Owusu after that, one of the grandchildren will deliver a word and you will know that Royal House Chapel indeed has a future. Please, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome the grandchildren of the Owusus. Come on, do a better one unto Jesus. I'm not sure if you are mourning more than the family or you are. Come on, let me hear a loud shout. A loud shout. Amen, amen. Thank you all so much for coming to celebrate the lives of Mr. and Mrs. JK also with us. Um, we, the grandchildren, would like to share a few words and we have selected the one who was named after Grandma Nana Poma Owusu, who will share a few words on our behalf. Shall we welcome Nana Poma Owusu? Thank you. 
So every year, for 27 years, Grandma and Grandpa would come to London to stay with us and each year they gave us more memories than the last. Grandma Teresa was my namesake, my twin. I was named Poma after her. She was also my chief defender whenever I was in trouble in the house. <laughs> they were without a doubt two of the strongest people in mine and my siblings and my cousins lives and as their grandchildren they shaped who we are today. Both grandma and grandpa were such a light in this world and grandma especially was a woman who refused to accept her age. There's a video I'm sure some of you have seen of her dancing with me and I'm saying grandma kutukakra and really and truly okutuye to the point where my mother was saying please oh, we don't want to go to the hospital today but grandma no matter her age on the dance floor she could always keep up with the youngsters that was the type of woman she was and both of them were independent and you would never know they were the age they were because they always behaved like they were half the age that they were and it was one of the many things that I loved about them. Another thing I also loved about them was their friendship. They really were best friends and it was something everyone could aspire to have with their partner. These two could fight and they still wouldn't want to sit anywhere else but right next to each other together. Grandpa could be upset at grandma, but rather than leave her side, he would still sit right next to her, but he'd make sure he sat in silence so that she knew she, he was upset with her. Once he'd forgiven her, he'd always say something like, Terry, Branayanko walk. <laughs> Those times, even if grandma didn't feel like going for a walk in the cold in London, she would still make sure to go on that walk so she could take the forgiveness. These are just a few words I could say about grandma and grandpa. If I was to share all their stories, it would take a whole year. But the time we were fortunate enough to spend with them is time we will always treasure. I think being lucky enough to have the time we did with them is the greatest gift of all and we will forever hold them in our hearts. So may their souls rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you, how I fool. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. I, I thought you came to mourn with us. Come on, let me see, hear you say, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, how I trust you. How I've proved you over and over and over and you have never disappointed. Sing Jesus, 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 precious Say, oh, for grace to trust. Sing, oh, for grace, oh, for grace. Sing, oh, for grace, oh, for grace. Permit me to read the first eight verses of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 I want to salute all the mighty 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 great men and women who are gathered here tonight at the oil dome thank you so much on behalf of the Owusu the Damwa and the Crunchy Ankara families we really really do appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedules to come and celebrate with us For the next 15 minutes or so, I want to share a word with you titled, This is your time. Someone say, This is your time. Oh, I didn't hear you say, This is your time. Turn to anybody and say, This is your time. I'll read Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and the first short eight verses. To everything, there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, 
a time to be born a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck what has been planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to gain and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to throw away a time to tear and a time to sow a time to keep silence and a time to speak a time to love and a time to hate a time of war and a time of peace amen as i was preparing um, to come and speak to this august occasion i was asking god god what is the word that i should tell these people what 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 should i tell these people out of the death of my grandparents my only surviving grandparents and the lord took me to a certain rhyme that we used to sing and recite in school called uh, my grandfather's clock I don't know how many of you know it my grandfather's clock was too tall for the shelf if you went to Anungmila you can't sing this song hello and the the words I'll, I'll just read a very brief sense of the words my grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf so it stood 90 years on the floor it was taller by a, by half than the old man himself though it weighed not a penny weight more it was bought on the morn on the day he was born and was always his treasure and pride but it stopped short never to go again when the old man died now this rhyme or this poem is based on actually a true story of two brothers who owned um, a hotel in england way back in the in the 19th or 17th century and on the day that the second brother was born his parents were gifted this tall clock which they used to call a grandfather's clock and as the the poem suggested it was too tall to sit on a shelf and by sheer coincidence the clock that was gifted to this boy on the day he was born stopped working on the very day that he died and this story became such a popular story in folklore they left it in the lobby of the hotel that they owned that every guest that will come to the hotel they would share the story and tell the story of the clock that was owned by this man that was gifted on the day he was born and stopped working almost immediately the day he died now this is also very apt because at the time there were not many clocks in the system clocks were very new in inventions at the time they used to use um, our glasses so for the clock to last 90 years was a big deal one day a man came as a guest in this hotel and he was told this story and he turned the story into the song that we know and we have been singing and our kids keep singing till today But the story is not just a rhyme and a song for kids. It's also an analogy, a perfect analogy on life itself. The clock represented the lifespan of this man. The clock represented his, his achievement. The clock represented what he did on this earth. The clock represented the legacy that he left. And the, the, the song says, and it stopped short never to go again when the old man died today i want us to look at just three lessons that we can learn from ecclesiastes chapter three a poem that is talking to us about time about time number one i want you to leave here knowing that there is a season for everything that you will do hello there is an appointed time for everything that you have set out to do and i want you to know that if you miss the time you are derailing your life there is a time that has been appointed by god for you to go to the university there is a certain appointed time for you to get married there is a certain appointed time for you to start your ministry 
there is a certain appointed time for you to build God a temple. There is an appointed time to break out and go and preach the gospel to the world. There is an appointed time to everything. There is a season. There is a season. There is a season. And every day you wake up, I want you to run this exercise. Ask yourself, am I in the right season of God? Am I walking in the perfect will of God? Am I wasting my years, wasting my age, wasting my strength? Or am I utilizing the Kairos season that I have been appointed in? The, the, the Hebrew for season over there translates to appointed occasion. There is a certain appointed occasion. I want you to know for Mr. J.K. Owusu, Mr. and Mrs. J.K. Owusu, there was a certain appointed occasion that they needed to get married and there was an appointed occasion for them to go to be into glory together. There was a season. There was a season. While here on this earth, you'll be hearing the biographies tomorrow, but I want to give you a small foretaste. While here on this earth, in the short time that Mr. Jacob also was working as a draftsman and a surveyor, he had a hand in the building of Holy Ghost Cathedral that is sitting today at, um, is it at Abraka or Asylum Down? Asylum Down, Holy Spirit Cathedral. Little did he know that one day one of his daughters will get married in that auditorium. While he was here on this earth, he was involved in the erection of St. Mary Senior High School without knowing that one of his daughters will attend that school. While he was here on earth, he was involved in the erection of a temple, the Matters of Uganda Catholic Church at Mount Probi. Little did he know that when he passes away, his burial service will be conducted in that very auditorium. He utilized the season that he was here on earth. He utilized the appointed occasion. He made sure that while he was here, he influenced and impacted the society around him. Today, I want you to leave here asking yourself, when you die, what will be said of your seasons? What will be said of your time? Tell your neighbor, to everything there is a season. Oh, I didn't hear you say, to everything there is a season. The second lesson I want you to leave here with is that time is always moving. Time is always moving. Time is is always moving i want you to know that the clock is always ticking you cannot press pause you cannot press play you cannot rewind you cannot fast forward time is always moving if you told yourself four years ago i wanted to go back to school and you did it you would have been graduating by now if you told yourself two years ago I want to go and do that master's. I want to pursue that master's degree. You would have been graduating by now. Time is always moving. This is your time. I want, you to, I want to let you know if there's anything that you glean from the burial and the death and the funeral of my grandparents, know that time is not your best friend. Do you remember when Asamaja missed the penalty? Do you remember? Oh, how many of you remember when Asamaja missed the penalty? 13 years have come. 13 years. Do you feel old? Time is not your friend. I want you to know, even though my grandparents lived an average of 90 years, just like the man that we hear in the song, it was such a short period. If you ask their biological children, they will tell you they wish that they had more time. They wish they had more time. I want you to leave here knowing that whatever time that you missed last year, two years ago, ten years ago, you have a short period to make up for the lost time in the years to come. If you are here and you are carrying any bitterness in your heart, carrying any pain in your heart, carrying any grudge against your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, time is not your best friend. You need to go back and reconcile.
whatever it is that God has placed on your heart whatever assignments that God placed on your heart to perform I want you to know that the clock is ticking time is going time is running very soon the trumpet will be blowing and you get to the pearly gates of heaven and Saint Peter will ask you what did you do with your time what did you do with your time tell your neighbor it's your time this is your time this is your time oh come on he can't hear he said this is your time I know you came for a funeral but I want to encourage you I want to prophesy over somebody here that whatever it is that you have set in motion any business any ministry any academic journey the Lord is about to give you grace you will finish well oh you will never run out of time before it is too late the Lord will give you speed and acceleration I prophesy over some 200 people here that the Lord is giving you a certain anointing because you have stepped in the oil dome may you receive a certain oil from above to run with speed and accomplish and conquer if I were you I would shout and say I receive it time is always moving the third thing and third lesson I wanted to leave here with is that there will always be changing scenes of life there will always be changing scenes in the eight verses that we read the teacher as the bible describes the writer of ecclesiastes outlines 28 different seasons 28 different seasons and here's something interesting i want you to note every other verse we see a switch between the order and the pattern of the attributes and the adjectives that are being given so it starts with positive the negative positive the negative a time to, to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck then every other season we see a switch then the negative comes before the positive and then the next verse we see the positive come before the negative and so on and so forth until the eighth verse the poet and the teacher is teaching that nothing is constant there will always be changing seasons of life and no couple epitomized changing seasons of life than mr and mrs jk also oh they had a good start to life well not the early start but at the time they gave it to their children their children were going to some of the best schools in the land saint Teresa's at um, at North Kaneshi and then Bishop Bowers at Latebi Okoshi. All of them went to top secondary schools, St. Mary's, St. Louis, St. Peter's. They were doing well and then a wind blew. The changing seasons of life. All of a sudden, they I, I, I'm sure a lot of people know this story, but just permit me two minutes. My grandfather was, was on leave from his job and went to work for his, went to work with his brother who was working at a quarry. And basically the way the query works is they set a dynamite at the foot of a mountain and the dynamite has a number of minutes to blow up and once it blows up the mountain shatters into pieces of rocks and they bring the rocks and sell to construction workers so my grandfather they had set the dynamite and placed it at the foot of the of the mountain and they were waiting in hiding for the dynamite to blow up and the time that was scheduled for the dynamite to blow up it didn't blow so he decided let me go and check the dynamite perhaps the match didn't light or the dynamite didn't light as he drew near to the mountain to the dynamite it blew up and a rock hit his head the entire family came crashing down all hope was lost his life came to a standstill he was in coma for six months right six months in coma by the time he came out of coma he had to relearn his alphabet a b c d he had to learn the difference between a fork and a spoon somebody who was who was on the fast lane of life involved in the building of snitch flats and dansoman all of a sudden lost everything somebody who had two cars and my mom, my mom tells me every Sunday after, after morning mass, they will go for swimming and they will have barbecue. Barbecue in the 80s or 70s. 
in the 60s go back in Ghana Charlie all of a sudden everything vanished they had to be begging for arms for food to eat but here is the summation of life that it will not always be rosy there are changing seasons of life Oh, and I remember the Methodist hymn. Through all the changing scenes of life, in troubles and in joy, the praises of my God shall still my heart and tongue. Today, I want you to leave here knowing that if you are down, you will not be down forever. Oh, it's just a time, it's just a season. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is around the corner. I want you to live here with hope, knowing that your joy is coming in the morning. Your season of laughter is around the corner. It's only for a season. It's only temporal. You may be going through bad news. You may be going through struggle. You may be going through contention and conflict in your life. But I came to announce to you, oh, I prophesy in the name of Jesus that joy is around the corner. The Lord is about to bring a turn around. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. There shall be no more tears. There shall be no more pain. The Lord will wipe away every tear. For the glory of the latter house will be greater. Oh, who am I prophesying to? So they say, I receive it. The praises of my God. My heart and tongue. Through all the change scenes of love. Oh, Owusu family, I came to prophesy to you. Damwa family, I came to prophesy to you. Kratiakra family, I came to encourage you that this is only a season. The Lord is about to return celebrations. The Lord is about to bring back joy. Oh, what will you do in the changing scenes, in your season of mourning? The praises of my God and steal my heart and tongue and blow. The praises of my God shall steal my heart and tongue. After the accident was a difficult period in the life of my 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 mother and her parents and their siblings it was a difficult period oh but thank god for mrs o theresa owusu the woman rose up as a deborah in the family and stood in the gap and held together the family held together the children held together and made sure nobody fell off nobody fell off she made sure that every single one of them went to school the way they were supposed to go went to secondary school and today they have raised mama rita a reverend minister the president general of royal ladies today they have raised a deacon of royal house chapel today they have raised a, 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 a minister of royal house chapel today they have raised an entrepreneur who is here from the uk today they have raised reverend papa crunchy Ankara. they have raised two lawyers as grandchildren they have raised a medical doctor because through the changes of life, they didn't give up, they didn't throw in the towel, they still sang the praises of Jehovah, they still knew that there was joy around the corner. The praises of my God shall stay. Is the worship team here? My heart and tongue and blood. The praises of my God. Let me wrap up. Let me wrap up. I, I know what that means. I know what that means. Psalm 90, verse 12. The Bible says, So teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Teach us to number our days. Today, if you don't hear anything, I want you to hear this one. You need to number your days because there is no time. There's no time. To everything, there is a season. Time is always moving. There will be changing scenes of life. In your downtimes, don't give up. 
because there will be a switch there will be a turn around there will be good news around the corner and the poem one of the choruses ends 90 years without slumbering tick tock tick tock his life's seconds numbering tick tock tick tock but it stopped short never to go again when the old man died when your clock stops ticking i pray that we'll have a good testimonial about your life god bless you we appreciate you for coming we love you thank you I don't think that's the song he wants. Yes, let's sing, sing the song that he raised throughout the changes of sins of life. We we'll have uh, two more choirs who minister to us, and after that, we shall hear the prophetic word from the Father, the Father, and the sons who are gathered here. Come on, throughout the changing sins of life, go throughout the changing sins of life. In trouble and joy Quiet, are you sure you are there? My God shall steal Let's receive Pastor Kofi And vessels of worship After that, M.O.G. and Covenant Voices The changes of life in trouble and in vessels of worship that pray MOG and covenant voices my God shall steal my heart and talk and flow Rain where the sun <laughs> the is so sensi journeys wrong his king don't stretch from shore to Till sun shall rise and set no more, Jesus shall reign wherever the sun. Lift your voice and sing with me. The His king don't stretch from shore to shore till sun shall rise and set.
Cairo mountains and they're all true only Yeshua who reigns forever to his kingdom there'll be no way for help there are kings there are kingdoms there are mountains and there are thrones only Yeshua who reigns forever he reigns to his kingdom though be no end let me hear you pop sing it there are kings there are kingdoms there are kingdoms there are mountains yeah mountains and there are thrones only only Yeshua only Yeshua he reigns forever he reigns forever to his kingdom yeah
will fade away. Only Yeshua who reigns forever to his kingdom there'll be no way. and gentlemen let's give it up unto God because he will reign supreme in every area of your life it doesn't matter how the economy is like God will provide for you I am prophesying to only one person I said God will provide for you your destiny is in the hand of the most high and that is why I believe it will be well with you tell three people it shall be well with you they didn't hear you at all Tell the last person you will make it in Jesus' name. Before we hear from the fathers, the last group will come up and that is MOG and Covenant Voices. But ladies and gentlemen, I want us to know that whenever we come into the presence of God, it is an opportunity to honor him, to bless him and to say thank you to him. I will, I will never forget one Friday, this would be about 15 years ago. At the age of 40, I thought that I was too young to even contemplate death and um, life afterwards. But that Friday, as I was coming to church for an all night, we got to the Zoti clinic, the traffic light turned red on us, and all I could hear was the screeching of a BMW, it crossed us and out jumped four armed robbers. And ladies and gentlemen, it was as if what happened next was as if I was watching a movie. They opened the cars, 
the four doors of the cars and they hit my head with the butt of a gun blood started oozing out of my head that night 21 stitches at Kolebu teaching hospital and they bandaged my head I came to church wearing gele do you know what gele is it is when they bandage your head like that and they are sitting in front of you you have to excuse them to see the pastor it was after that experience that I realized that when the Bible says I'll bless your going out and your coming in it is impregnated with a lot of meaning if you are here tonight ladies and gentlemen I want you to know it's because God has watched jealously and zealously over you and I want you to join me to appreciate this God with your best gift and your best offering as someone said if you think that your alarm clock woke you up then ask those who died their clock rang but they never woke up today I want us to appreciate God with a very good love gift unto him tell God that you appreciate him Bible says let's not forget all his benefits I want you to go into your wallet if you are doing Momo the numbers are on the screen and um, on the occasion of the memorial service of our papa and our mama I want you to make a mark be like Solomon who gave and provoked the heavens to descend to the earth kindly lift up your offering please and let us share a word of prayer lift up your offering let us pray please gracious heavenly father we want to thank you for the gift of life we want to thank you that because your mercies are renewed towards us every morning we are not consumed we bless your holy name that even as we celebrate the lives of our father and our mother mr and mrs jk owusu it is also a wonderful opportunity to thank you for the opportunity to be alive tonight we pray that you will receive our love gift bless it and bless us in jesus name we call it done ladies and gentlemen mog and covenant voices
Everybody lift your voice and say
association and relationship with anyone but they stand in an island and they stand on their own they, they have to be careful please be seated since my father-in-law and my mother-in-law passed in this last eight weeks don't forget that they didn't tell us they were going to pass on so we didn't prepare for them we didn't fix any date in our calendar to celebrate their passing. Our calendar from January to December was booked for missions, conferences, programs, meetings and meetings upon meetings without due consideration to what we are doing here tonight. On the day my mother-in-law passed, that evening, we were to join BA to go to London to speak for Dr. Bentel and then move on to America to speak for Bishop Alote and then our own convention in Maryland, Grace to Grace, General Assembly and our convention. The trip was to be in the evening my mother-in-law passed 8.30 in the morning. My wife left, went to the hospital, set the hospital bills, put her mother in the morgue so we could travel that same night. How we managed to survive the shock and the assignment, it is because we belong to an association where phone calls were coming in to encourage us. My father-in-law, the morning he passed on Monday, we were on our way to our retreat center at Shiloh for our youth conference called Shakers and Movers. Again, Mama Rita organized and made sure the father was kept safe. And that same day, we left for the conference. How she managed to do it, I have, I, I have no idea. Papa, we have done six conferences since they are passing on. We have done Royal Ladies Conference. We have done General Assembly in the UK and Convention in the UK. We have done General Assembly in Ghana. We have just finished Convention of Saints last Sunday. Six major conferences in the midst of mourning. I want to salute the Apostolic Fathers Fellowship who encouraged us, came to visit us, came to be a blessing and a prayer. It is, that, that 
was what kept us going. The Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council, Mama Christie, your phone call, and all the men of God here and the fathers and church, your prayers. Help me, let's give God the glory and God the praise. But for your prayers, I don't know where we would have been. Six major conferences in and out of Accra, Ghana. Finally, the celebration of the passing on is here. And I'd like to remind you that they are, they are lady state at the next house called Ahimfie uh, Glory Shed. Uh, you want to go and then pay your last respects. And then for my friends, the fathers, the, the generals who are here, uh, Mama Rita would like you to honor her by uh, visiting uh, the conference room, which is just next uh, to us, uh, so we can have some tea and then uh, some coffee uh, and then be a blessing to her. This woman is a strong woman and God has really been with her. Are you clapping or you are doing something like clapping? I have always sat by her when she's having conference call with her siblings and they are planning for this uh, celebration and sometimes hours. And one thing that I love about Mama Rita and her siblings was the spirit of unity and oneness that they had towards this celebration. Let's, let's honor God. Some people are not clapping and they didn't hear Papa Simon very well. There is a time to clap and there is a time not to clap. Thank you. Thank you, men of God. Thank you, uh, Reverend Apostle Jani, for traveling all the way from South Africa, you and your wife, to be with us in the convention and to stay with us. I salute the friendship. God richly bless you. Bishop Alote, you and Mama Naomi, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bringing us the, no, take one minute. The only person who will not be typed is the Papa. And then they bring us prophetic greetings. The, one of the choice servants in our land here is the presiding bishop of the Perez Dome. The senior pastor of the Perez Dome. Please welcome on the microphone here my good friend, my brother, the Archbishop Charles Ajinasari and his beautiful wife Mama Vivian. Let's celebrate this great man. I honor you and thank you for standing with me. Your prayers have brought us this far. Please bless these people. Thank you, Apostle General. Oh, sorry. It's a pleasure for us to be here to fellowship with you and to stand with Mama Rita. Um, <clears throat> scripture says that he who has friends must show himself friendly. If this happened to us, Mama Rita and the Ranchi Ankara family would have been there for us. So we are here to say that we love you, we appreciate you, and we are praying that God will strengthen your hands like never before. God bless you. Put our hands together for Archbishop Charles Ajinasari and Mama Vivian. Give them the royal house time. The general superintendent of Assemblies of God over 3,000 churches under his supervision and jurisdiction. Please welcome Reverend Dr. Stephen Wengam and his beautiful wife with a mighty clap offering. The anointing you celebrate is the anointing that rests upon you. The grace you honor is the grace you wear. Reverend Dr. Stephen Wengam and his wife Thank you very much, Apostle General, the Archbishop, 
and all generals who are here. Greetings from the executive presbytery of the Assemblies of God, Ghana. Apostle General Mama Rector, good friends of the Assemblies of God fraternity, and we are here to say, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. I said one minute, but they are speaking 30 seconds, and I should have made it two minutes. <laughs> Let's give the Lord a mighty clap offering. Reverend Dr. Markwe is a good friend and a good brother. And uh, when we go to our fellowship meetings, uh, when the fellowship is over at La Beach Hotel, uh, you see bags uh, being carried into our various, 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 various cars. And what would that be? Kenke, La Kenke, La Fish, and La Ploto. Domedo, La Domedo, it's, it's our favorite part of the meeting. And so, Reverend Simisa doesn't miss that meeting because of this item. Reverend Dr. Markwe, thank you for your friendship. Please, let's receive Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Mama Markwe, founding pastor of Living Streams Ministries. Celebrate this servant of God. Bless us. Well, I want to be known for the anointing, not the domedo and the kinky. <laughs> well, um, no, Rita and uh, Apostle General Chankra, you are such a blessing to the body of Christ and um, your warmth, your love, and what you do for others. Today is not really the best of times to show you how much we appreciate you but we can just say to you we are quoting what your son said weeping may endure for an evening or a night but joy comes with the morning light when loved ones are separated shortly or forevermore may the God who looks after each and every one of us keep you in his arms and be your comfort as you keep trusting God bless Put your hands together for Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe. Right Reverend Nana Anyani Buedu, the presiding Bishop of Jesus Generation. Please receive him with a mighty clap offering. Good father, good friend, good brother. Also comes from Wasa, where Mama Rita comes from. Where are the Wasa people? Wasa people, are you in the house? This is, this is the Bishop of Wasa who represents you. Bishop Nana Anyani Boedu. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Um, I'm here with greetings from Wasa. And to here also to mourn with my niece, the First Lady, the Premier Lady of Royal House. And to strengthen your hands. God bless you so very much. We shall be with you every step of the way as God is being your vanguard and your rear guard. God bless you. Let's, let's honor Reverend Dr. Anyani Buedu Nana with a mighty clap offering, please. Please do it. The bulldozer from Solid Rock Chapel Mama Rita's mother and our mother. We love her, we celebrate her. Please receive Reverend Dr. Chrissy Do Tete, the founding mother, apostle of Solid Rock Chapel. Come on. This club offering is doesn't look like. Thank you, Mama. You were here last Sunday for the convention and you are here to celebrate with us and to mourn with us. Thank you for your prayers. I thought I was going to be spared. Mama Rita and Apostle General, we want you to know that we love you very much. You have been with Solid Rock from its inception. When my mother died, you were there at home at the funeral grounds so 
I have to do the same. So we are here tonight to celebrate the past sin. I saw Pastor John and some of the Solid Rock members. Are you still here? Good for you. It's just proper. Daddy and mommy have a special place in my heart. You'll be wondering how in his lifetime he followed Mama Rita to Solid Rock. He climbed that mountain. His 50th marriage anniversary he sent for me to help them catch their anniversary cake. It didn't end there. His 80th birthday he still insisted that I have to help him cut his cake. So they are very dear. Dear, dear, dear pa. So it's not only the Owusu family who have missed somebody. Solid Rock family, we have missed some precious jewels and they will forever be in our hearts. May the Lord strengthen you. Mama Rita, it's not easy. We've been there, so it's not easy, but with time, You'll be healing small, small. Apostle General, thank you. Let's honor the mother, Reverend Dr. Christendo Tete. All the way from Tema. The Bishop Samuel Noy Mensa and his wife. Let's honor them with a mighty club offering. Bishop S.N. Mensa. Good father, good friend very very strong on our network there's no time i never read his postings before i go to bed please thank you very much and um, we are here to identify with you and mama rita for god's mercies and grace that have been extended to you and I pray that what you have done, Apostle General, honoring your parents-in-law, may it be done to you. May that commitment and grace that you have demonstrated, may you experience it in your old age, that your grandchildren will honor you and that you will be blessed with great-grandchildren also. So we stand with you and the Lord bless you. Thank you very much. Let's honor Bishop Essen Mensa and his beautiful wife. Come on. Full Gospel Church International. The clap offering is not good. Let's honor Reverend Steve Mensah, one of our convention speakers, and his beautiful wife, founding pastor of Charismatic Evangelistic Ministry CEM at North Legon. Please let's honor this great servant. Thank you for being a blessing to us last Thursday. It was awesome. It was powerful. Thank you very, very much. Reverend Dr. Steve Mensah. Thank you, Apostle General. Thank you, Mama Rita. You know, my dad died 10 years before. But afterwards, then my mom also died. When my father died, it was quite a challenge. But when my mom died, it was too much for us. So I can imagine two of them dying at the same time. And I don't know how, Mama Rita, you are managing this whole thing. But we are praying for you. May you be strengthened. Because for you to have your parents laid in state, it takes a lot of courage, a lot of fortitude. And for you to do six conferences when your, mom, when your parents are in the fridge, it takes a woman of virtue to go through that. God bless you. And we are here to strengthen you. God bless. Put your hands together for Reverend Steve Mensah and his wife. Sorry, uh, his wife, Mama Jane. Come on. Increase that clap offering. My friend, for 25 years, Apostle Johnny Ingwale from South Africa and Mama Faith. Please, let's honor them. Convention speakers. Increase it, increase it, increase the vibe. Increase the vibe.
Thank you, sir. Thank you for standing with us. Your presence is such an encouragement to us. Thank you. We are so very, very grateful for the opportunity to express our heartfelt so much of pain but uh, the people of Ghana uh, they are something else we honor all the bishops the archbishops that are here apostles and all please let protocol be observed it is sincerely from our hearts that we are giving you a word Mamarita and also the Uusu clan all the relatives the Lord says that your tears are not going to fall on the ground but your tears will be put in a bottle and not only that your wanderings the Lord says he is recording them in a book therefore your tears are not going to fall down the Lord will remember them because they are in his bottle he has put the name of the Wusu so every time there is a matter he will go into those tears and the weight of your tears the Lord will show up for them and any wanderings that you have done in your life going from here to there seeking help from there to there the Lord says he has recorded that that tells me that you are very special before the throne of God may God strengthen you may God comfort you may God console you put your hands together for Apostle Johnny Ingwali Mama Faith from South Africa conquerors through Christ come on Bishop did you offer my son, Pastor Papa, just said uh, they couldn't manage to get to a front seat. I'm sure that's why my eyes missed you. But wherever you are, you shall have the last laugh before Bishop comes. Please, Bishop Titi Ofe and his beautiful wife, let's honor them with a mighty clap offering. Please come, Bishop. The Chancellor of Accra Business School and the founding bishop of uh, the pleasant place bishop titi offer and his beautiful wife thank you for strengthening us thank you for encouraging us your wife led uh, together with mama jane uh, came with all the wives of the fathers to come and then pray with us thank you so much for that visit let's honor them Amen. Praise the Lord. I serve as the General Secretary of the National Association of Charismatics and Christian Churches. The Chairman is the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. I just want Mama Rita and Apostle General to know that Doug is with you. We are praying for you and we are standing with you. We know this is a very difficult time for you, but your faith in the Lord will take you through that. God bless you. Let's honor Bishop Titi Ofer with a mighty clap offering. Recently now has been received into the fraternity of PhDs. Dr. Titi Ofer, come on, let's honor him. From New York, US of A, our friend for many years. Please, my brother and covenant brother, Bishop Dominic Alote and his wife, Mama Naomi. This place is shorter. Come on, let's honor them. Your clap offering seems to be suffering from Kwashioko. Increase the vibe. Mighty man, Mama Rita, the Bible says that there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And two of you have been that friend to us. Um, your love, your support in tough times in our own families you have been there um, where nobody was moving you moved you came to stand with us there is no way 
we can stay in New York, see you mourning, and never come here. Our daughters and our son are sending their love to you, and they are watching right now, and they are praying for you. We want you to know that we love you very much, and uh, we will always be there. You can always, you know that. You can always count on us any day, any time, any moment. We love you. Mighty man, we love you. God bless you. Let's put our hands together. Reverend Isud Anaba is here in representation. He has sent his word to us and uh, has asked us to receive Reverend Clement Anchaba in his name. So therefore, representing Reverend Isud Anaba, please let's receive Reverend Clement Anchaba. Increase that club offering. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. The Apostle General, Mama Rita, um, Pastor Eastwood asked me to come. He would have loved to be here, but he's on another assignment. And so I came, and his word is that, be strong, the Lord is with you. And all the way through, you will hear from him. Mama, God be with you. Thank you so much. Let's celebrate Reverend Eastwood Anaba and Clement Anchaba. Rising to your feet, let's receive the Father and the Papa, a mighty clap offering the oil. You honor is the oil that rests upon you. The Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Come on. Apostolic Fathers Fellowship members. Hallelujah. You, you may be seated, please be seated. And uh, I want the youngest, handsome, the most handsome Archbishop among us to also join us. Archbishop Charles Ajinasari. He's been he's the most handsome among us all. He's been handsome this way over the years, and he keep being handsome. I said to him the other time, now the one person here at uh, uh, and uh, thank God for his beautiful wife also, who is a very very cook, very very good cook. I ate her food some years ago in Tamale and I still can't forget it. I'm telling you, she cooks very good. That's why you see the husband slim and handsome like that. Amen. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified, be glorified in the heaven. Be glorified in the earth. Be glorified in this land. It is said that these are times of darkness and they are also time of light a time of darkness and a time of light a time of scarcity and yet a time of abundance a time of foolishness and yet a time of wisdom it goes hand in hand and just as Apostle General Sun preached, 
and he talked about the different seasons in time time changes and today seriously speaking I just wanted to come and fellowship with all these great guys these are great guys and I just wanted to be among them fellowship with them and also spend time with Apostle Jenna Sam Kwanchiankra and also to love on Mama Rita my girl full of a lot of love she she makes me feel love whenever I'm around her there is just something about her and what about me please <laughs> and and you know I was watching the two of them I was watching the two of them and when I look at the history of your father-in-law and your mother-in-law I strongly believe that you are so hooked and intertwined that the two of you may end up also going <laughs> I'm telling you after 90 after 90 after 90 uh, and and seriously speaking yeah first the yeah. mother went before the father followed yeah <laughs> but, but 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 seriously speaking seriously speaking for me i'm i'm not feeling grief because i have never seen this in my lifetime where two couples live for that long and we're so intertwined and so much in love with each other that one left the scene and after three weeks the other said i have no reason of being here if she is gone i'm out of here I i'm telling you this is history it's a big statement and i believe that many generations will read and learn about these two wonderful phenomenal couples and so you are all part of great history and to to you my girl you have a great legacy you have a great legacy your father and your mother are phenomenal and they've done something made a statement to every marriage couple here i'm telling you as i sat there i was thinking too many things and i strongly believe that you have a great legacy protect it and hold fast onto it and god will comfort you on every side and increase your greatness apostle i know it has come with a lot of expenses and responsibility and we are not going to leave you we are all going to support you financially so we are not just here to celebrate okay we are also going to share the burden with you financially but let me say this you grow into whatever you sow into and you are going to grow into this blessing of your father-in-law and you become whatever you honor and for honoring them you will become and you will live many 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 years over a 90 years with your wife on your side hallelujah amen thank you thank you so very much we love that you bishop will pray for you rise on your feet and then there's the last worship once they are ushered into the my office and so papa your yeah. prayers please lift up your hands say yesu
Father, we stand in humility to give thanks for how far you brought this family. For the blessings, for the kindness, for the love and the goodness you've bestowed on this family over the years and the decades. And for everyone on this platform, these great apostles, these great men that you have anointed and raised for such a time like this in the history of this nation to change the course of history in this nation and across the nations of our world and for everyone hearing the sound of my voice I thank you for the plans you have for everyone here that they are plans of good and not of evil to give everyone an expected end and so father we pray for we pray for your son apostle Vanjiankra. we pray for Rita and the entire family and household that your mighty hand will rest upon them that you will be their guide and that you will comfort them on every side and that you will cause them to have wisdom above their years to deal wisely with all the matters and the issues of the funeral, the burial and heavenly father not forgetting Ghana Ghana our motherland we were not born in refugee camps therefore we will not stay in refugee camps and this nation is your nation it does not belong to any political party it does not belong to any individuals but it is your country it is your nation therefore let your kingdom come and let your will be done concerning this country, the citizens and the people of Ghana praying into 2024 elections prohibiting any outcome that shall cause this nation to fall into violence any outcome of 2024 election that would turn the clock of Ghana back divine authority from the throne room perspective from where all authority over heaven and earth is derived we hereby take a stand and annul that outcome we declare it shall not stand neither shall it come to pass let men scheme let them take their counsel let divineness and let the sorceress and the warlocks of this nation let them put together their best and let their enchantment rise let their divination and incantation rise but it shall not stand neither shall it come to pass for the counsel of the lord only shall stand concerning the destiny of this country let the shores of ghana be secured let our airways be safe and our high cease be safe let peace be, be within our borders and our walls and we pray father that by your wisdom and by providence you will work through those in authority to do right by you and to do right by the people of this country and to do right by the economy that none shall want no lack in this land we extend our prayers to all the nations of Africa in the name of he who died laid in the grave and arose triumphant on the third day and ascended above all thrones and dominions and principalities and powers even Jesus Christ the son of the living God we commend all things to you and to the charge of the warring angels and the armies of heaven let God arise and let his enemies be scattered Amen our hearts and voices we bless and cease and cry and give to God the 
Thank you.